Hi guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do wall settings. For instance, you just you're new in a uh, Archicad and you want to start uh, drawing a, a construction drawing like this. You want your presentation to be like this. You want your settings, your wall settings to be like this. I'm going to show you guys how to go about it. And before we proceed. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now, let's get started. So, we are going to start with a plain, this is, this is a new template, okay, it's a plain, um, Archicad layout that doesn't have any settings. This is for, like, just, you're just, you're just like, you're just opening Archicad for the first time. So you are going to notice that the wall, the wall settings, the default wall settings, is like this. This is a Arica 22. Okay, so it's like this. So we want it to look like the other one we we showed you. So what you are going to do right now is you go to the wall settings, okay, and then you just click this, okay activate this and then you can change this the thickness this is where you change the thickness of the wall okay and the height of the wall you can you can change it here or you can use this is just like uh, the story right story the story the story level is um, 3000 and you can edit it if you don't want, if you just want to maintain um, the story level, but that's that's for that's that's for that's tutorial for another day. So if you want to adjust, just go to this place and press not limit. Okay, so you can adjust your wall height uh, any to any amount you want. Okay, so you can just adjust three thousand, four thousand, yeah, about. So model, this is the shade of the wall turn all this on so you can change the color to whatever color you want okay so now that's for that so let's go let's go back to activating this okay and you say okay so you you want to draw your wall and you did you can just go ahead and draw your or if you notice the this color is still showing unless for instance you don't want this color you can always go ahead and change it right here okay so there are different um, options you want for the type of word you want by default it is here which is a um, generic structure so we are going to just change it to this one okay just like that as you can see it's now black and white so for instance you want to change the line width you want to you want to, you want to check the line width okay you want to check the line width just right click anywhere don't make sure nothing is selected just right click anywhere and, and activate your line width. now you see that the line width is showing right so let's say you're not satisfied with the line width and you want to change the thickness of the line width. Now go to your settings and uh, check where, check, go to your settings, go to floor, plan and sections, then you will see the line width used. As you can see, you will notice that this is, this is the line width used. If you, without clicking, you see that, 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 that color is kind of highlighted which is this. So what we are going to do now is go to the settings of the pen, pen to by option, go to option, element attributes, and then we go to pen and color. So under the architecture, architecture 100 um, and pen set, we go to this one, which was the one with the wall, the color of the wall, and it will change it to maybe one. And when you change it to one, it will go to custom. All you need to do is store as and override 
the architectural stuff so that it will update then you say okay so you can see our line is now thick so you can always adjust the thickness of the line according to how you want it so let's say you don't want this type of wall you want a wall that is hashed so all we need to do is okay we need to come in all we need to do is uh, just go ahead and and change and change this to this to bricks okay or something similar okay there yeah, are different here yeah, like bricks finish and all that okay as you can see we have a hash so simple so for instance you don't want it to be to have this color of hash you don't want the, the hash the hash line to be this color all we need to do is go to go and change it haven't known that this is the wall this is the setting we used for the hash okay so all we need to do is go and check the color that was used by going to your, your element attribute and then building materials okay now this is um i think this is the one we used let's check the color now this is the color from what was activated that's it right there so since this is the color we use we can just go back we can always change it but we just want to edit what archicad gave us okay so that we don't have to um you scatter the settings just change the colors what if you're not satisfied with what archicad gave you so we can just change it since we notice that this is it we just go back to to our pen set element at option element attribute pen and color then under this architecture 100 it all depends on the on the pen set you're using if you're by default it is using architecture 100 so just go here and change the color okay let's select black okay no let's select something close to black and then we just adjust the color a bit and say okay and then you write you write as usual and okay then you say okay you will notice the color has changed okay you notice the color has changed so with this you can always produce beautiful construction joints just like so you can always produce beautiful construction joints it's as simple as that okay just like so and you can always place your doors place your doors and that's that same thing here it just it all depends on the type of wall you like using if it is this type of wall or this type of wall guys this is the end of this tutorial thank you for watching i remember the badge from mjc designs i'll see you in my next